previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Could have put you on your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, it just it seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Start heading south, but don't let them drag you down. out there. Good work, Clem. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <laughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. Just stay down. You're gonna get your head blown off. We can't just sit here.
Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, nah, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. I didn't think it would be. But it is. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Are you sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He's just a scared kid, man. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. We don't have to do this. Is it his house? Food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. For food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. 
I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No, that would suck. I'm going to try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. So this is you making it work? You don't have to constantly be criticizing him. I'm not. I'm pointing it out. As a precaution. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop, if you know what's good for you. Kenny, please, ease up on him. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got Clem if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Uh, okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, but that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other with something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Damn it. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Think about it. Sitting in the snow, laying up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> Why so many of my friends are dead for no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop. 
everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I'm trying to guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this lake sooner than later. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. And good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. Say it, girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Well, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on a name. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm... I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This... what not you're doing. So... I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. So, this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. Uh, holy fucking hell! You need to stop squirming. about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, was that smart. He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Yeah, that shouldn't have been the case. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here raising this boy. It should be him, not me. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. Done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go?
Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit! He's still more work. Some more hours. Goddammit! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. This isn't helping. We're all stressed. Let's just get a night's rest. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep real fucking easy tonight knowing this asshole is playing us. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. I wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. And what did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Yeah, you get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. <laughs> 